Good morning, guys. Yo. And happy Monday. And we're both running late. <laughs> no makeup. I have to fix that when I get to work. It is 7.45, um, but it's not raining. It actually looks semi-nice out there, even though it's really cold still, but no rain. Woo -woo. So yeah, on the way to work. Hey guys, so I'm in work and I've put some makeup on so I don't look quite so scary. As some of you might be aware, obviously John drives me so far to work and then I walk the rest. And even though I know like spring doesn't start, is it like the 21st of March or the 9th? It's like the 19th, 20th, 21st of March. It's the end of March, spring starts. Um, but it feels like a real spring morning out there. It's cold but crisp, but the sky's pretty and there's little um, daffodils coming up and it's like, oh, it feels like spring. And obviously I'm a big winter fan, but mostly because of Christmas. But um, yeah, it's nice for there not to be any rain for a change. <sighs> do you know, I think this is the best mood I've been on a Monday in forever. And I do put a lot of it down to having such a chilled weekend. I know some people like, I follow a lot of ladies over on Instagram and their Valentine's weekend was very much Look at this handbag, look at this bracelet, look at this Pandora charm, look at this big posh restaurant. Oh, we're in a hotel, blah, blah, blah. which is fine, which is great, which is stuff that me and John did 10 years ago. Um, and I'm not slating that in any way, but our Valentine's Day of, you know, a little trip to the shop and setting ourselves silly challenges to not spend over a certain amount and watching telly and eating popcorn and cuddling puppy dogs was just right it's what I needed I was so stressed last week and it was kind of the perfect not perfect because it's star week if you get my drift but as close to perfect as Rome Valentine's Day can be on star week um, but yeah it was I feel just so much better, like I've slept properly and properly decompressed from last week, which I don't always get after a weekend. Sometimes you feel, you know, just as stressed, but yeah, it was, it was perfect for us. Right, I officially start work in like three minutes, so I best uh, get on with it. <laughs> Did you miss me today? Did you miss me? You did! Oh, I missed you too, Gilly. No! No! Jumping on the sofas! Don't be naughty! Daddy, I'll tell you off! No, him. You're alright, bud. He doesn't like it when Gilly goes crazy, do you? You don't like it when Darwin and Gil goes crazy. Hey guys, um, and I'm home. I've actually been home for ages. It is 5.52. I got home about half past four. Um, but yeah, I kind of had a play with the poopies. And I've literally been editing the weekend's vlog. I've put Saturday and Sunday up as a wanna. Um, to basically get me back on track. So, because of editing issues last week I got a little bit behind but now Saturday and Sunday have gone up on Monday which means on Tuesday Monday will go up so it's, I've got back on track to how I like to upload it's not you're only seeing it a day after it happens so yes but it took it's like oh oh I don't know because I'm on a different screen now but it was like it was over 15 minutes long and it took quite a while to edit but yes it is done Oh, still in a relatively good mood, which is nice. Normally Monday kills the good mood. But yeah, uh, I have no idea what we're having for tea tonight. I think we might be having... We've got some pierogi, which is Polish dumplings, in the fridge. Need doing. We've also got steak. Might leave the steak for tomorrow. I always get a little bit worried what side dishes to do with pierogi. I'll see what John thinks. But yeah. I'm 
getting paid tomorrow. I get paid every other week, which is useful because I've seen a dress on H&M that I really want. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of online shopping tomorrow. Win. The only downside, of that is the only downside to H&M, I'm a little bit, not anxious, but a little bit unsure on their sizing. I do think it's one of those shops where you really do have to go in and try on. Because I have, in the past I had a dress that, and everything I had from H&M, the sizes were ridiculously small. And I was like, oh, it's just one of those shops where you have to order up. And then I've got a pink dress that's a size 18. And in my opinion, it's more like a 20. You know, if you were like mostly a size 22, but you could fit into some size 20s, that would be the size dress you'd get. It's, you know, when I was a true size 18, it was too big. So I do think with H&M, sometimes they're cuts are a little bit hit and miss so I'm tempted to buy it the size up but then as I'm getting smaller it might be a bit pointless because just because it fits right now it might not fit in a couple of months but I don't want to buy it too small because I want to wear it now oh first world problems but yeah shall I be buying a new frock tomorrow oh <sighs> I hope you guys are feeling as nice as I am on a on a random Monday in February. Is it February? Yeah, it's still February. Of course it's February. I'm vlogging on a weekday. Um, yeah. Also, something that I find exciting. Um, it's my mum's birthday at the beginning of March. And she's going to come down for the day with um, the beautiful Rachel. And I'm going to do buff like a birthday buffet for her. Which is really exciting, but at the same time a little bit nervous, because my mum... I wouldn't say she's a fussy eater, but she's a simple eater. So she doesn't like things that are too spicy or too hot. Um, and she's also diabetic, so she's got to be careful. Obviously I can't like do a table of cake, because she can't eat that kind of thing. But it'll be fun, then. I'll be able to put birthday decorations up because you guys know I like to decorate like I've left all the valentines -y balloons and bunting up and stuff because next weekend or this weekend coming John and I have been together 13 years um so I thought I'd leave it up for that not that we're doing anything special I'm actually working on the Saturday um and then yeah and then I'll be able to decorate for Mum's birthday when she comes for her birthday lunch. And then it's only a couple of weeks and I can decorate for Easter. <laughs> I really need a job where I just get to decorate. Like, be a window dresser. But I'd want to do it at somewhere like Selfridges or Liberties or... Oh, Liberties would be fabulous. But yeah, like Selfridges or Harrods or, or Liberties or something like that. A girl can dream. I just have to put up with my my tiny little lounge. But yeah, I'm rambling now, so I will leave you and I'll talk to you in a bit. And it's tea time, and it's not the prettiest of meals. Um, it's steamed veg and pierogi, which is a Polish dumpling. Um, that one's mine, and that one's John's. I'm home, I'm tired, I'm full. Pierogi was good, and yeah. Boys drinking their tea, watching MasterChef USA, chilling.